It's just maple leaves, but it's whatever we made. We bought that for you. So. Just wanted to lay down for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop everything. Stop everything. That's not fair to me to do to that. How tired are you? I'm really very tired, man. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Where are we gonna put all this bullshit? Tour is hard. Just you gonna make it? I'll put the dishes. <laughs> hey. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, we got in pretty late last night and we're in a really beautiful area in Oregon at a very kind of old timey campground. It honestly feels a little bit like Camp Crystal Lake from Friday the 13th, but it's very, very cool. And uh, I wanted to go outside and shoot some, you know, scenery for you, but it's so windy that it would make talking just, you know, non possible. Or I guess impossible would have been a better way to say that. So I'm gonna go outside and shoot some scenery and then uh, we're back in the RV and we're headed back down to Carson City today. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool out here, man. We got a cool camp spot. I wish we were here for more than one day though, dude. Yeah, this is very, very cool. I don't know, I, I just really appreciate this on a lot of levels. I think it's very cool. I'm, uh, I'm kind of in love with this area. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, you guys. We're, we're, we're near some lake. I know that we're near Crater Lake. We're near uh, Klamath Falls, Oregon. But I really hope the wind's not too bad to pick up my voice right now. This is beautiful, this is just a great place. See how far out we can walk on this here dock. I feel like I'm about to see Slender Man out here. <laughs> yeah, super scenic. Anyway, anyway, I'm just going to continue walking out here on this uh, dock. But yeah, we'll get back into the RV. And uh, like I said, we're going to head down to Carson City. I just wanted to show you guys how completely pretty Oregon is. And here's our uh, Camp Crystal Lake <laughs> experience. There's our RV. It's just cabins. Pretty sure we were gonna get murdered here by Jason Voorhees last night. And I also just want to say it's freezing. It's cold I've been in San Diego three years. I haven't been this cold in three years. The great thing about uh, Donuts is they're just as good the next day. So that's lunch for today. It's five minutes for lunch everybody donuts only donuts 24 hours of donuts. What do you got there Ken? This is the 24th hour donut. Fine. It's healthy. We're doing good. It looks healthy. Yeah. <laughs> you go way up and crash way down it's again breakfast. and again. You got cereal on there. Eat a donut every two hours. Yeah, you feel like a million bucks for like five minutes. <laughs> Welcome to Carson City, Did Dwayne. Just... Thanks, Nick Green. What are you chewing on? What are you sucking I'm on? I'm gnawing on Ruby Roo's beef jerky. Because that's, that's all we have to eat. That's bacon. That's beef jerky. <laughs> it's beef jerky bacon. So it's both. You just you're out in the wild west, you're gonna chew on some meat. <laughs> chew on some jerky. Made it to Carson City. It was a fun ride. We played a fun game. We made a fun game funner, and we'll show it to you, even though funner is not a word. We made a fun game more fun, and we'll show it to you later. But for now, we're gonna check in and then get to Nevada Vapor Supply. Oh, it's still going again? Uh, we have yes. another one. Yeah. Another bottle, no. I'm really not in the mood, Nick. <laughs> Well guys, unfortunately, something uh, something happened. Something bad happened. My uh, Basilisk mod, yeah, it took another tumble and the whole front part broke off. Yeah, it's it's gone. It's gone and dead. It's, it's dead, that's dead. <laughs> it actually still works, but no, I would never use it in this, in this condition. Yeah, look at that top part. The top part was the first that broke. The second time it fell, this whole part broke off. Bottom cracked off and broke right there, you can see as well. <laughs> but as you can see, even though it's all messed up, yeah, it still totally vapes. I'm not gonna be using that mod anymore. It just, it just broke, that's the thing, it just broke. Well, let me explain how it broke real fast. The first time it fell off of about of a countertop height, like about waist height onto the ground, it cracked the bottom and then the whole bottom assembly became loose. And then it fell from counter height again while moving at a little bit more rapid of a velocity and it hit the side of like the, you know, the little drawers there and the whole bottom cracked again and the top part broke. All that break on the top, that was all from that second fall. And then what's weird is the third fall was only from about knee height to the ground. I was sitting on the couch in the RV and it slid and fell behind the couch, hit the ground and when we, you know, when we pulled up the couch to go look at it, destroyed. Just 
completely destroyed. This mod lasted me exactly one month. I don't know if I was being overly abusive with it, but it kind of just broke over the course of about two weeks. And granted, I was in an RV, but I wasn't being any more or less careless with any of my other mods. You know, that Smoant 218, that's kind of been through the same thing. It's fallen once and didn't break. And I brought that as Modus Guy too, and that's fallen onto the ground and hasn't broken, so I don't know. I feel like maybe the resin might be too thin. Maybe there's too much packed inside of a small box. You know, when I first got this, I thought, wow, that's a little too good to be true. That's a tiny little small resin box mod. But a lot of the resin here, it's 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 thin. <laughs> it's pretty thin. Can you see the sidewall right there? Hang on. I'm trying to do impromptu uppy closey. Kind of see the thickness of the of the resin there in there anyway other than the bummer of my stentorian basilisk mod breaking feels good to be back in carson city feels good to be back home really excited to go hang out tonight why do i look so blue why do i look so blue ruby rue what i don't know my video just looks blue uh, i'll check you check your settings yeah see look at that that's that's kind of pretty carson city's kind of pretty Nah, uh, yeah, it's a stretch. You're not gonna be able to hear anything because of the music, but this is my mom and brother. <laughs> really good. The cock. The cock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Nina is. I saw her. Where is Nina? Bring us Nina. Right? What? <laughs> Let me get the shot of the sun. Out of vapor supply. Yeah! Hometown shop! Hometown shop. I'm excited to be here with these people. Whee! Yeah! Are you guys in Carson? In no. this area? Where are you guys? We're from San Francisco. Oh, really? Yeah. And you came all the way up here? Yeah. yeah. See you. That's, I feel, okay. Well, it's a good, they're in the, they came from San Francisco to Carson City, Nevada. That's crazy. I don't want to call you crazy, but that's a crazy thing to do. Nothing crazy. wrong with crazy. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with crazy. Oh yeah, this is gonna happen, you guys. J B freaking C right here. Jennifer Burger Coleman. I've talked about J B C. I think in every vlog that I've done since I met you. And maybe. my hair twin. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> you guys look like a family. <laughs> That's amazing. Could be. You guys know JBC. Advocacy hero in Sacramento, California. Doing a lot for the industry. Doing, uh, working with CASA these days. Just uh, doing it in, uh, in Sacramento, the capital of Nevada. That's great. It's amazing. My subscribers love you. So thank you for everything. JBC. JBC is here. I know. It's been uh, it's been a while, and we've tried a few times, I think, to we meet. We live in the same state, and we meet in Nevada. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we live in the same state, and we meet in Nevada. Well, that's okay. I'm really glad you came out. Me too. That's so cool. So cool. What do you think of my hometown? Your phone town? My hometown. I heard you the first time. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty nice. You gave us a tour. You were like, hey, that auto parts store right there? I used to sell tires. <laughs> That's not what I said. Yeah, I wasn't really listening. But then, then we're like, dude, that's the first Starbucks you worked in. You're like, no, I wouldn't tell you where I worked. So it could have been. You know? The world will never know. Thank, thanks, Kent. A simple like, hey, it's cool. That would have been fine as well. Yeah, well, I already did that for Oregon or whatever. Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh, I can't see anything. Garage there. Fuck. Fuck. All right. Welcome to our show. I don't know if you're getting this. <laughs> I don't know if you got that. Just right back that's, into it. Not. Just right back into it. So uh, everybody, this is my brother Brian. What up? Uh, he's been my brother my whole life, except for the first three years, I guess, yeah. when I was just a little. I wouldn't really call those living. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really call those years living though. No, but my brother's great. He's he's celebrating his uh, seven year vapeiversary on okay on Nevada Day. On Nevada Day, which is Halloween. October 31st. October 31st. Is so cool. Yeah. We have a holiday for Halloween. Yeah, it's bitchin'. And we were both <laughs> smokers. I mean, we were pretty heavy smokers, man. In Vegas, <laughs> we used to smoke like you can't. I mean, <laughs> it was unreal. Bad clouds. It was unreal the amount Bad of clouds. cigarettes that we smoked, and then in Las Vegas, and then when we lived together, we called them speed racks. 
<laughs> you remember that? We go outside and be like, hey, you, uh, you want a speed rack? That's <laughs> a very kidding. old joke that I can't really explain. It's yeah, it's, it, that would take way too long to explain, <laughs> but we used to call going to have a cigarette speed yeah. racks. But do you go remember what rack? we did when we'd, <laughs> when we'd go smoke cigars outside? Uh, did, did, oh yeah, we would just assume. We'd be like, oh, did you want to, well, uh, I mean, we, I could. You, yeah. Got him. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. there was no reason it was just fun yeah there's no reason for anything that we do it's always just fun Brian. Yeah, park gardnerville <laughs> yes casan city uno mas <laughs> kent's uh kent's offered to carry the big box yeah so, so this is my job while we're walking <sighs> that's the good stuff that's all i'm going to do the whole time we're walking and i'm going to prove it <laughs> Still, Still happening, Kent. Wow, this Look, is if I could be serious for a moment, stuff. I think my subscribers feel I'm too hard on Kent sometimes. There's a lot of sympathy for Kent. There's a lot of Kent Hill sympathizers. And I just want to say that you're all wrong because Kent deserves it. Every second of it. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> no, but we love Kent. Let's go. I told you guys to go. Aww. No man left behind. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Nevada Vapor Supply. Nevada Vapor Supply. He's trying to buy a shirt and I'm just vlogging. That's okay. What size do you need? What size? Oh, you trying to buy a shirt? Large next What size? Large. 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 What was your name? Cody. Cody. I work for Chad and Nina. Oh, Cody works here at Nevada Vapor Supply for Chad and Nina. Of course. Some of my dearest friends I, and I love this shop. So he's instantly like a little bit of royalty, just a little bit. Yeah, once again, we're here with a camera. We're incognito though, because Ruby and Nick have the same camera, so he doesn't realize that we're filming a whole bunch of stuff again. We're gonna get around this place, he's not gonna notice, and he's gonna have to edit all this out again. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go talk to this gentleman over here. Okay. Hey, let's talk to him. Hey, how's it going? Going good. So, what's your name? I'm Joe. Okay. Joe. Joe. We're at Nevada Vapor Supply. Joe. So, do you do you work here? No. My friend Joel works here. All right. So, is this your home base shop? Yeah. That's awesome. I really like your flannels. Do you want to place that shop? Awesome. Well, thanks. What are you Joe. doing? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is C roll. C roll. Yeah, this is. Stuff that gets cut out. Yeah. <laughs> says, no, we're gonna put him in the vlog. Yeah, yeah. you can't cut him out. Like yeah. Class. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Put some C roll. What's up, guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, now's when it gets really interesting. Now's when I go in. I'm gonna sit down over here. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna stand here, looking around. How's it going? Wanna be in the vlog? Yeah, dude. Hey! Everybody, say what's up to the vlog. All the. All right, I think that was. I think that was them saying what's up to the vlog. I'm the best filmer. Twisted messes in the shit. You heard it here first. Right. Yeah, still filming after I do. Thank you, sir. You. Ooh. What are you doing, Kent? Oh, I just finished wasting your battery. Okay. What are you doing right now, though? About to sign this Rebel. About to sign a Rebel RDA. <laughs> for some reason. It's all right. We had Blue-Eyed Goon signing them in, in Oregon as well. I like it. I like signing Rebel boxes. I know. Ruby. Do you see it? Ruby. Ruby. What? Ruby! <laughs> Ruby! The sick Grim Army t shirt. Woo! Grim right, Army shirt right, right there. More, more, more. Yeah! yeah. Oh, God, you it's good times here in Nevada. I just want a shot of me and you and my, with my brother. Hey. Yeah! Thumbnail! You know, sometimes I'm a good YouTuber. Uh, uh. And so. <laughs> okay. And sometimes I'm a bad YouTuber. Actually, I'm usually, I'm, I'm mostly a bad YouTuber if we're being completely honest. But tonight was one of those nights that I went to the vape event and I had like a sliver of battery life. And that sliver of battery life turned into a flashing battery thanks to Kent. Yep. 
It might have been uh, Ken's fault. It was 100% Ken's fault. Yeah, we'll show you when we edit five, the video how much of Ken's fault it was. It was also with my encouragement. I'm really sorry. Yeah. yeah. She was like, go for it. Just take it around. I came back and I was like, is the battery light flashing a bad thing? And she was like, <laughs> she was like oh, oh, the battery light's flashing? She's that's, like, no, oh, that's yeah. That's not true. I warned him. That, okay. You didn't warn me. It was afterwards. Ridiculous. This is all thrilling about who did who <laughs> to who blamed who. The point is, my damn camera battery died. Jump cut. Filter change. No, you can't. You don't have that power. Oh, what if alcohol? Yeah. What, what is, is that? it? Uh, ginger ale and whiskey. And it's warm. It's gonna Just be have warm. a little sip. It's fine. Uh, but the point is now my camera battery is charged, so. It, now I'm just gonna say goodbye. Nick and Ruby in the morning. Yeah, hey. Um, I think that I like Brian more than you. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I think we've been mean enough to Nick today. I think we've All been right. mean enough to Nick to last a lifetime. Yeah, today, especially Ruby, she's really been laying into you, man. You know, what do you think influence. that's about? What? It's it is, it is Kent's influence because Dwayne does the same thing. So I'm slightly when Dwayne's around Kent, Kent suddenly. Cut. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jump cut. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. When Dwayne's around Kent, the same thing happens. Yep, uh, it's Dwayne's Kent. like, Dwayne really lays into me, man. Yeah, it's because Kent, Kent doesn't know how to say just kidding. Yeah, it's because Kent doesn't know how to say just kidding. He's like, oh, I hate you. That's <laughs> yeah, that's it. I feel like we've had a real good time in Nevada. We went gambling, actually, and, uh, but anyway, Jess, Marie, doubled my money. And Dwayne's. And Dwayne's. My first time gambling. We gave her, we, <laughs> Dwayne gave her a hundred dollars and she doubled it and I gave her a hundred dollars and she doubled it. That happened on a video fucking blackjack. It's because it's rigged. A and she was doing moves that no human would make. Mm -mm. I, she was thinking I, like I taught, a. I taught Jess Marie the basics and then she's like, I'm gonna go bananas. And then yeah, she yeah. won. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. So Jess. Yes. Yes. So Tomorrow we're going to Las Vegas. Hashtag Vegas strong. It's gonna be amazing. Jump cut. What's up, guys? Uh, it was a great. <laughs> well, hey. All right. And hello. Today we're gonna be uh, reviewing this uh, box mod. It's it's a box. It's a mod. It's a box mod. Press the button. And the things happen. And uh, you press the other. Ah, I fucking broke it. So I can review it. That seems to be the story on this trip, Nick. That was a pretty accurate Grim Green review right there. Right there, you got it. Yeah. Can you right there out of here? Right this way. Hurry it up. Why don't just grab Jess and just yeah. throw her in? On the road, we got a tight schedule. I got the door, don't worry. Just keep moving. Thank you. That's insane. Bro, look at this thing. That is really Look wild. at the size of this fucking thing coming down the road. Holy shit. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we finally made it to Vegas. It was a long day driving there through Nevada. We're at the end of the tour and there just wasn't a whole bunch going on. Ruby Roo was playing DJ, Jess slept, and then we watched Rick and Morty and Kent did Kent things. I'm honestly not sure what Kent did all day today. At one point I saw him watching a video of like a bodybuilder guy, so I thought, okay, oh, maybe he's getting like personal training tips or something. First things first is we're gonna get some food. My camera battery is dying and I would like to film the event tomorrow. So this is probably just gonna be a chill, mellow night. We might not even gamble. We're all just really tired. But goddamn, I'm really excited about the last event. I think it's gonna be real fun. I hope Vegas turns out and just D parties it, parties it up. Does a part, big, does a big party thing, something like that. Welcome yeah. Welcome to motion sickness. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the motion sickness part of the vlog, everybody. <laughs> Terrible. My tripod is on a swivel. I don't recommend that. Nope. Okay, I caught it. Oh. oh. Hey. Everyone's barfing now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go again. Whoa! Sticker in the table. Sticker in it. Stick around, stick around. This is it. This is all we have left after the tour. I'm down to this many t-shirts. That's it. That's and it? they're all extra large. That's oh, okay. it. Well, and all this juice, done. this juice is just donation juice. Whatever you want to pay for a bottle of juice, I'll sell you a bottle of juice for that price. I feel like that's pretty fucking good. Oh, you're on. oh yeah, we're on video again. Hello. Oh, you remember Noli? Yeah. Noli Designs? <laughs> I live everywhere. He lives everywhere. <laughs> yeah. What was your name again? Chris. Chris, 
Welcome to the vlog, Chris. We're just gonna take a picture. We're just gonna do some vaping out here in Vegas. It's so nice. Elbow, always. Way up. Way up. Elbows up. When you vape. You got it. <laughs> oh, Dwayne, you're so green in this light. No, I'm turning into the fuck. <laughs> yeah, it, seriously. <laughs> well, we've been hanging out outside because it's so nice here in Las Vegas, but I thought I'd show you the inside of Puff Vapors because it's a pretty damn cool shop. Yeah, that guy too. I just wanted to show the shop a little bit because we've been sitting outside for so long. But it's a cool shop. Yeah, it's a cool little shop, man. It's a cool little shop. Danny, 360 Coil from Vegas. What's up? Yeah. And? Yeah, and? Ryan? Yeah, yeah. From Pup. Oh, you work here? Yeah, I'm the manager. Oh, you're the man. Cool. Nice to meet you, bro. It's a cool shop. We're just showing everybody the shop. Buildings going on over there. It's good times here in Vegas. I wasn't forced to judge a cloud comp in Vegas, and that officially makes Vegas my favorite tour stop. <laughs> Welcome, Nick. Yeah, Ruby took the Ruby took the took one for the team. Also, Judging the cloud comp. Like, Do they? Very yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, it's the finals of the cloud comp. <laughs> Uh, both were left on the first that one. Was but I think they're gonna flip and drip. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn, why I walk? Hey, Nick! How in the hell are you? <laughs> Bro, Nick's not around again. Let's do this. Yeah, he loves editing this part. Oh, this is amazing that Nick leaves his camera unattended. Who wants to see my nipples? Party time! Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, mother. Yo, mama. Oh, just, I'm not kidding. Just saying goodbye. No, I'm goodbye to Puff Vapors. I've had a really great time here. It's been amazing. Puff Vapors, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'll send you awesome. Awesome shop. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good times, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times, it was a good con. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. Super fun times. You ready to so end this right train? It's so, so bright. bright. So bright. Oh, what? Well, uh, what are we gonna go do now? Um, well, we're gonna end the, this video. <laughs> That's, this is, this is the end of the tour, bro. We you need know to take how it out. Sad I was? Oh. You know how sad I was returning the RV? Sad. And then how happy I was because the lady that works at the RV store and her husband are a huge fan of the vlogs. And the first thing she said to me when I walked up was, I'm so sorry the auxiliary plugged in. <laughs> she watched the video. Watched the video. The first oh. thing she said was, I'm so sorry the auxiliary. I can't believe did not that. Work. That's and then unbelievable. I had to tell her it was my phone. <laughs> I felt so bad. It was my phone. So, yeah, we're gonna actually. Uh, uh, yeah. We're gonna go hook her and her husband up tomorrow with some free juice just for, uh, just for being cool. Yeah. Just for being cool people and not charging me for the propane. Propane. Boom. It was it was a good tour, Dwayne. Don't you think it was a good tour? I'm sad. I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad it's over. It's like the end of a relationship. Uh, yeah. You know, and you really love her. And then she cheated on you. Yeah. Well, it's not that severe. I feel like it's not that severe. I feel like, I feel like you might need to pump the brakes just a little bit on that analogy. I feel like you're not in touch with your sensitive side at all. I am. No. No. But it's sad and it's over. But uh, I think we're going to do it again. Yeah, with another girl. Driver, so I can so I can participate next time. Yeah. And actually have energy like I have now. Yeah. Instead of being like so, so fucking tired. <laughs> can I go to bed? God. Yeah. I think we're gonna do it again. Oh, and, and then again and then gonna, again. This is gonna be a it's thing. Gonna be a thing. <laughs> yep. So like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I honestly can't believe that it was real and that it happened uh, and that a few months ago it was just an idea and all of the squad jumped on without hesitation and we knocked out a fucking rad tour. Honestly, I want to bring some love back to the vape shops. That's what this is all about. This is all about community and hanging out and uh, it's something that we're sorely lacking I think in the vape industry right now is that sense of togetherness and that's what all of this has been about. 
is coming together as vapors for a common cause and uh, you know fellowshipping for lack of a better term fellowshipping together so thank you everybody for watching all the vlog videos I promise after the tour we're gonna get right back on track thank you so much for watching everybody and as always let's keep on vaping So we we got we got Jason. We are about to hear the Metallica story. Get excited. Okay. So it all begins with Jason. Are you gonna hold it that close the whole time? The Metallica story. Yes. By Jason from Local Vape. I had just graduated from high school and like everybody my age at the time, all of us long hairs, we were all Metallica fans. Oh yeah. Like super Metallica fans. Yeah. So anyway, uh, they were on the Black Album tour. Um, they were probably on the third or fourth year of the Black Album Tour, and I went to see them at uh, Pine Knob Music Theater in, uh, in Detroit, Michigan. I lived right down the street from the Guest Quarters Hotel, which Guest Quarters is now Doubletree. Oh, okay. So I drove past that hotel every single day of my life uh, forever. Okay. And any band that played in town, you would always see the buses parked out there, so you knew that that's where the famous people were. After the Metallica show, uh, that night they had played with um, Suicidal Tendencies and Danzig and it was an amazing show. I love all those bands. It was great. I even caught a bass pick from Jason Newstead. I still have it. it oh was, yeah. yeah. I jumped out in the aisle. He threw it. It went right to my <laughs> head. Bang. And I was like, yeah. And so anyway, I, I had this really crappy car and I dropped all my friends off and I'm driving my crappy car home and I drive past the guest quarters hotel and there was a giant pile of tour buses there and RVs and all that and I knew that they were there. <laughs> I'm like, Metallica is in that building right there. Yep. And I drove past it, and I thought for a second, fuck it, I'm going back. <laughs> so I turned oh, around. Oh, so you turned around. I turned around, oh. and I went back to the hotel, and I pulled up in the parking lot, and there was probably about 300 kids that looked just like me out in the parking lot with their signs. Right. Screaming Metallica with their, you know, with their t-shirts, and they're drunk, and some are just, they're going crazy. And I'm thinking, Okay, now I really know they're in there. So how can I get in there? So I went through all these scenarios in my head of how can I get in there? And I kind of cased the joint for a second, <laughs> like a full-blown, like a robber, like a bank robber. The best scenario that I could come up with was I'm just gonna walk right past everybody and walk in the front door. I was alone, I didn't have a group of people with me. Yeah. I grouped myself together. All right, we're gonna do this. And, uh, and I walked, and I walked in. Just I walked, walked right I walked in. Walked up to the door and I walked right inside the hotel and no one said a word to me. And I walked right through, right past the security guards. No one said a word. <laughs> and uh, I saw a big crowd inside, in the bar area, and there they were. Just Metallica. Metallica and a bunch of fans and their road crew and a bunch of people. They were just having a great time, drinks and food and talking shop and having a good old time. That's amazing. So I get. You know, I, I walk inside. By this time, I'm kind of shitting my pants because I'm like, I made it. Now, <laughs> now what do I do? Yeah, now what do I do? I'm standing there like, oh no, what do I do? And uh, all of a sudden, I hear, Jason! A couple of my friends had snuck in and they got in. Oh! So I went and ran over to them. Hey, you know, what's going on? And they, uh, they were kind of scared to talk to the guys in Metallica. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason and Kirk were not there because they didn't party. Right. Uh, but James and Lars fucking party. <laughs> At the time they did anyway. Right. And so uh, we, um, my buddies were a little scared. I'm not like that. I walked right up and just introduced myself to a couple of people, started saying, hey, you know, how you doing? How'd you like Detroit? Is everything great? Yeah. Right. And then I was in. I was 19 years old. I'm only five foot six right now, so at 19, I was probably four and a half feet tall. Oh, yeah. And I had hair down to my waist. Long hair. And people were just handing me drinks. <laughs> like, hey, why do you want a drink? And I was like, yeah, sure, man. During the uh, mixing and mingling with a couple of the crew guys, uh, the guitar player from Suicidal Tendencies, Mike Clark, walks up and he goes, hey, man, you look just like Lars. We gotta, we gotta introduce you to him and tell him we found your little brother or something. <laughs> And I was freaking out because, like, I'm going to go meet Lars Ulrich. And to me, that right. was like meeting James Brown. Or right. Like meet Jack. Yeah. And so he walks me literally right up to Lars Ulrich and he goes, Dude, we found your little brother, man. And he looks at me and he goes, He don't look like me. And, like, turns around and I was so bummed because he's like my hero of all time, right? 
So I said the stupidest thing that you could ever say. I was like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And he was like, yeah, sure, just put them with all the other ones. And there was like 90 drinks. Oh, shit. People were buying him drinks, and he was just like, sit him over there. And so I didn't buy him a drink, and he was kind of a jerk. Yeah. I, I don't hold it against him, though. He's whatever. He, that's his deal. I go down to sit in a chair, because I'm embarrassed now that my favorite rock star just basically told me I was a shithead. So I had to... <laughs> go sulk somewhere and the only chair in the room uh, w that was open was in the middle of kind of a crowd mm -hmm. and I walked up and I sat in the chair and this guy goes hey man that's Mike's chair you need to get up and I go well, who, who's Mike and they go you know Mike <laughs> and I was like okay and they're like Mike Muir dude <laughs> and I was like oh well okay I'll get up and as I'm standing up Mike Muir walks up to me and he goes it's cool, man. You can have my seat. It's all good. What's your name, man? And he was cool as shit. And what? I talked to him for a few minutes, and uh, I let him know how big of a fan I was of suicidal tendencies. We, we spoke for a little while. It was really cool. It was a great moment in my life to meet Mike Muir, because, you know, they're big-time heroes of mine as well. You know, after he's real cool, I'm, you know, by this time, my confidence is back up. So now I'm like, all right, I'm going to go talk to the king himself, which is James Hetfield. He's James Hetfield. James Hetfield. Damn right. He's the dude, right? Yeah. He was talking to a kid with a Nirvana t-shirt on. And they were actually saying really good things about Nirvana, which oh, I didn't expect. Right. I thought, I thought they'd be like, oh, man, fuck them, they suck. Because I'm a huge Nirvana fan as well. Yeah. So I walked up and I kind of weaseled my way into the conversation. And me and James kind of hit it off. He was a really cool dude. You know, we talked about how much they enjoyed playing in Michigan. He liked uh, coming to Michigan because he liked to hunt. Mm -hmm. Michigan is a good hunting state, which I would never shoot an animal. I don't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't even like to eat them. Yeah. But, we're, uh, no one's going to judge you on right, this end. Right. We're, so, we're all good. Uh, so anyway, we're talking about all kinds of things, and we really hit it off. We started talking about bands that we like. Come to find out we like a ton of the same bands. I literally am like a little kid talking to this dude who is like the creme de la creme of rock stars right. at the time. And it's just me and him. And I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> and and he's really nice. He's not anything like Lars. Lars was a total jerk, but James was the exact opposite. Warm and cool and hey buddy, let me you want something to drink and whatever. So after a long conversation with him, I went into the bathroom to uh, to take a leak. We had been drinking a lot. Sure, beer, sure, sure. So yeah, you got a leak. Plus, my heart was pounding because <laughs> I'm like, meeting all these famous people that were my heroes. And James Hetfield walks in, and he's taking a leak next to me. And uh, he looks at me, and he's like, hey, man, we're going to have a party upstairs in a little while. You want to come up? And I was like, come up where to? Where? <laughs> he was like, to, to our room, because they're going to shut the bar down. So we're going we're gonna to be partying up in the room. It's already fully stocked. There's people up there. It's going to be awesome. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so Yeah, what do you say? You don't say no I to that. I didn't know what to do. Dude, <laughs> by this time, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired as hell. I'm 19 years old. I'm drunk as shit. Uh, I got to drive home still. Yeah. And I'm freaking out. And so uh, we go out uh, back into the bar area, and now the bar people are starting to tell the crowd, it's time to go. Bar's right, shut bar's down. closed. Uh, you know, it's probably by this time 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I, I go, uh, you know, I'm kind of watching people go towards the elevator, and I'm thinking, all oh, right, well, I, I, he invited me. Maybe yeah. I should kind of go over there. And I started walking up towards the elevator. The elevator's packed full of people. Completely, you couldn't shoehorn another person yeah. into that elevator. And James Hetfield was the one right at where the doors closed. And I walked up, and the door started to close. And he was like, you coming, dude? And I go... I was okay. I, I mean, I guess so. And he, I, I can't Excuse fit. Me, and he goes, yeah. wham. And he grabs me, like, turns me around. So I'm facing away from him. My yeah. back is to him. He puts his arm around me and he pulls me in. <laughs> and the door shuts, like, in, into my nose. And I'm in this. James Hetfield's bear hugging me, and my face is against the, the elevator glass. And, uh, and we uh, and we go up. To That's their amazing. Fucking sweet or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I'm freaking out, dude. I can't yeah. believe like I I can't believe other people couldn't hear my heart beating because <laughs> I was so like yeah. just freaking out. Holy shit. And uh, we get into their party facility. It was like three conjoined rooms that was just complete debauchery and mayhem going on. And. Uh, you know, they were like, hey, man, you want a drink, dude? There were coolers everywhere full of ice and beer and whiskey and drugs and half-naked chicks. 
there's things going on that, mind you, I'm 19 years old. I was in a band, but I hadn't experienced anything like that before. I kind of looked like that little dude that you photoshopped <laughs> into the corner of the room that was standing there pissing himself, you know, like, right. with a beer, like, shaking. No business being up no there. No business being there. <laughs> and everybody's raging. There's music blasting. There's half-naked chicks making out with each other, and people doing drugs, and making out, having sex in the bathroom. And I'm like... I gotta go home. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I hung out for a while and maybe drank a couple of beers, but I was I was completely freaked out, and it was a great time. I talked to other people up there too, and yeah, I ended up talking to James more about playing music and stuff, and he was very uh, he was very cool, and like, dude, just keep going. Whatever you do, practice, practice, practice. Kick ass, kick ass, kick ass, and don't ever let anybody shit on your dreams man because yeah. we did it and you could fucking do it too man that's amazing and i was like okay i'm gonna go home now yeah and so uh you know and of course they were like dude you can't leave bro what are you doing dude we're still partying and i'm like oh <laughs> so i waited until no one was paying attention and i fucking snuck out snuck of out i just kind of pulled the yeah fucking that old uh, yeah. slid out the side door you know obviously i, I, I didn't really sleep that night and I didn't even tell my parents what I did that night for <laughs> months and months. But uh, the moral of the story is, is I met, at the time, the biggest rock star in the world. Right. fucking cool to Yeah, me, man. your heroes. And to this day, I've always been a Metallica fan. I will always love them. No matter always. who talks a bunch of smack on them, I love them. They did lay a couple duds, but I don't hate them for it. Yeah. Um, I can forgive Saint yeah, Anger. Yeah, man. And that's, uh, that's the Metallica story. Yes! Best story ever. Yeah!